Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. I just wanted to quickly show you what I've been doing with my uh, sevens, myself and another teacher. Uh, we've been doing flags and looking at the maths in flags, obviously with the upcoming World Cup, with the Olympic Games. They're bright and colourful and show us a lot of geography and history and uh, national identity, uh, but also they're, they're fascinating in terms of maths. Uh, looking at the South African flag here, uh, you can see what shapes are used within that flag. So we've got a right angle trapezium, got some parallel lines, and also there's a line of symmetry. See, once we've coloured in, then it's, it's no longer exactly symmetrical, but in terms of the shape, it definitely is. Um, so then my students looked at some other flags and tried to see a number of things. Did they see perpendicular lines? Um, those two there. Did they see parallel lines? And this is the Norwegian flag. We haven't, haven't coloured in yet. And the squares, the rectangles. Um, and you could look at the fractions or the ratios of uh, once it's coloured in of the different shapes, how much of that area um, is taken out. Uh, we could measure these flags. They could be scale drawings of flags. Um, if I look at the Israeli flag, there are a number of shapes here. We've got a hexagon in the center. Um, we've got six triangles there. We've got parallel lines again. We've got rectangles in terms of uh, the, the lines and the bars at the top. The United Kingdom flag, uh, we've got triangles there. And then we've got other parallelograms, as well as the, the area of the shape that's taken up by St. George's Cross. So. Um, look out for more of these uh, lessons on flags that are come coming up after the half term and do suggest what flag you'd like to see us explore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. This is Martin Maths with Flags.